Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Positivity. This week's segment is going to be on my number one nutrition rule to follow. Now, I am not big on any one in particular diet, whether you're gluten free, dairy free, meat free, whatever your diet is, I think is a discovery process that you have to go through to figure out how your digestive system is working when you're eating certain things how your immune system works when you eat certain things. So sometimes that in itself can be a process. We're not gonna talk about that in particular today. What we are going to talk about is whatever your diet may be, there's a way to use this rule. What's the rule? Plan, plan, plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That is the nutrition quote of the day. By planning our nutrition, what I mean is, how many times do you wake up in the morning, you're super rushed, maybe you grab a bar for breakfast, you get to the office or you're running the kids around, before you know it, four or five hours have gone by where you have nothing and your energy just drops. So my planning helps you eat something every three to four hours, which is something a lot of people have probably heard, you know, keep those smaller meals throughout the day, three to four hours. There's three main reasons that I really, really love this plan. First of all, it's gonna keep your energy up. So I know when I haven't eaten after like four hours, everyone around me kind of knows. They're like, Tessie, you're irritable, you need a snack. It's snack time. Um, which is true. So your blood sugar will drop, you'll get low energy, you'll get irritable, you need to put something in your body. Secondly, it's going to cut down on your body entering starvation mode, okay? When your body hasn't had food in a while, it's like, what am I going to eat? Hmm, okay, I'll start eating my own muscle. It doesn't really eat the fat, of course, it eats the muscle, and it stores fat. Heading back way to caveman days, that's a... a survival mechanism, holding on to fat when we haven't had nutrition in a while, okay? Thirdly, this is going to help you not end up at the end of your day super starving. Maybe you go out to dinner that night and what do you do? You eat a week's worth of calories in one meal and you feel really gross after. So those are the three main reasons that this is great. We're going to get right on to it. So what I've done here, I also am known to kind of combine really interesting concoctions, I like to combine fruits and veggies together. The first thing that I'm going to do is kind of a fresh fruit and veggie salad. Okay, so I have some chopped up strawberries, some blueberries. I also have in here one of those baby cucumbers, the Persian cucumbers, if you will, or pickling cucumbers. And then I have about three radishes. So the radishes, strawberries, blueberries, and also one medium carrot is all chopped up and in here. Prep time for that is about six minutes. And a good idea for that, because you're like, Tessie, I don't have time to sit there and chop vegetables all day. Time yourself. Sounds crazy, I do it all the time. I'll literally, I'll set a timer to go off in 10 minutes, and if I'm not done chopping the vegetables or whatever, it just it helps you focus on just doing that task. Okay, so you've got your veggies and the fruit in your little to-go container for the day. Squeeze a little bit of lemon, helps keep everything fresh, and because we want things sweet, not sour, I actually sprinkle a little bit of sugar-free sweetener on top of this whole thing. Okay, don't knock this till you try it, because it's delicious. And then, of course, in your little to-go container, it's really nice, lemon juice and sugar, you can then just shake it up, and it's ready to eat with a fork. For kind of a more main meal, or, you know, more satiating snack throughout the day, I'm also going to put in half a bagel, and I'm going to have another kind of crazy concoction that I like. You can try it. I'm going to put cream cheese and peanut butter on the bagel. So uh, you have just your serving of cream cheese, and I do just do half a bagel. Um, bagels are higher in calories, but just remember calories translates to energy. So they're also going to keep you full and keep you energized throughout the day. So this can be one of your meals, you know, after a couple hours, say you ate the fruit and the veggies, then maybe you're still hungry even like an hour later, you can have half of this little bagel with the cream cheese and peanut butter. And I put it together just like a sandwich with the cream cheese and the peanut butter together. 
I know it sounds funky, but it's a really good combination. Okay, and I'm also gonna put that in a hard container so it doesn't get squished and the peanut butter and cream cheese get all mushed up in your Ziploc bag. Okay, put that in my lunchbox. Lastly, I have just another little uh, kind of knickknack, finger food snack, homemade trail mix. So this I'm just gonna put in a little baggie. What I have in here is about a quarter cup altogether of pepitas, sunflower seeds, and dried fruit. You can combine whatever combination of seeds, nuts, and dried fruit that you want. Uh, like I said, about anywhere between a quarter cup and a half a cup, would be about a serving size that you put in your Ziploc baggie, and it's great, again, just if you have that low energy, maybe for that third snack before you get home, put it all in your lunchbox, and pretty soon you will notice that you actually feel like you're eating more, but you're eating less throughout the day, your energy's not dropping mid-afternoon anymore, and you're not gonna go home super, super hungry, and you're gonna cut down on that overeating at dinner time that we tend to do just by planning ahead. So this week, yes, we are going to try this. All right, so I want you guys to first kind of start, it's gonna be a, th a three day plan. First, you're gonna make a list of snacks that you have in your diet or foods you eat in your diet now that make a small snack and make a list of as many as you can think of as possible. Okay? Secondly, you're going to take a trip to the grocery store. It can be a different day or the same day. Take a trip to the grocery store. Make sure you have all that on hand. And thirdly, just one day, it's all you have to commit to right now, one day out of the week, take that extra maybe half an hour it might be in the morning to, or the night before, to plan your meals or your snacks even for the next day. Okay, so try it out. Don't forget at the grocery store, you might want to grab a lunchbox at the same time. All right, the recipe ingredients and nutrition information will be at the end of this video. I look forward to seeing you guys next week on Fit Positivity. I'm Tessie Tracy.